All right, I'm going to show you how I make the easiest chicken veggie soup that's full of good herbs and just like delicious veggies and organic chicken. First, I start my pot with olive oil and bay leaves. And this one is, I've already been prepping all of this. It's been in the freezer. So here's some jalapenos, here's the bay leaves and cilantro. And I have minced garlic, onion, arugula, peas, carrots, chicken, celery, um, squash, zucchini, bean sprouts, and cabbage. I've never done bean sprouts, but I don't want them to go bad. So everything's gonna get chopped and put in here, and then I'll show you the rest. This is my favorite part. Look how amazing that looks. Eat the rainbow, and then add chicken if you need it. I've just been under the weather. I've taken like a million COVID tests, and they're all negative, but I just like need some chicken veggie soup stacked up just in case you know what I mean so we're gonna stir fry this and you're wondering like where's the broth I add water because I don't like all that sodium crap so let me show you the herbs first of all I do black pepper then I do the wine infused sea salt with rosemary I do a half a cup to a cup of salsa I think I just used a half a cup this time for this flavors the water so then boom there's your broth sumac and dill always and then i have oregano cumin basil turmeric what is this curry and what is that? oh cardamom so that's all in here with the chicken so it's on medium high and we're going to stir fry this once it starts smelling delicious and getting brown then i add the water then we boil it then we simmer it and then it's done literally the easiest thing ever All right, so I added about four and a half cups of water, almost to the top. I usually just go right here to the handle, like an inch down or so. We're gonna get her to boil for like 10 minutes, then simmer for about like 20. And I just want to share that I forgot to add my sesame oil, so I just do like two or three drops, actually like three or four drops, and it gives it like a really warm, warm flavor, like it adds more depth to the broth. And then I just added some paprika. So while that's happening, I clean out all my Ziplocs because I reuse these all the time, you know, the planet. There's meat in it, I definitely threw it away. I'm gonna wash these, wait for my soup to boil. I cannot wait to eat this later today. She is boiling. So this has been boiling for about five, 10 minutes. I'm gonna simmer it now for about 20, let it cool off, and then put it in all my prepping 